God's end time prophetic voice. Prophecy from the Ninth Hour Book released the ninth day of the ninth month of 2009. Page 196, October 1st, 2006. Major change in buying and selling transactions. Cold, hard cash. It's good everywhere you go, right? You can use it for anything, to pay for anything. But that's not the case here in Louisiana now. It's a law that was passed during this year's busy legislative session. KLFY TV 10 Eyewitness News reporter Doug McDermott joins us live in the newsroom with how a bill like this could have flown so far under the radar. Doug. Well, Darla, basically House Bill 195 says those who buy and sell secondhand goods cannot use cash in those transactions. And it flew so far under the radar that most businesses don't even know about it. We're going to lose a lot of business. We don't want this cash transaction to be taken away from us. I mean, it's an everyday transaction. Bans on cash. You're only allowed to use cash with major retailers. You cannot use cash for a secondhand sale. That includes all garage sales, swap meets, you know, uh, you name it. This is directly out of the most horrific dictatorships ever seen. Cold hard cash. It's good everywhere you go, right? You can use it to pay for anything. But that's not the case here in Louisiana now. It's a law that passed during this year's busy legislative session. House Bill 195 basically says those who buy and sell secondhand goods cannot use cash to make those transactions. So they want to kill the underground economy. That's why they're arresting people selling lemonade all over the country or tomatoes or pumpkins and SWAT teaming Amish. They're just selling milk to their neighbor. You are guilty until proven innocent. You can't be trusted in a cash economy. That's part of the 999 sales tax plan. That's where they now have a federal sales tax if, they, if the Federal Reserve gets its way and a VAT where every transaction is tracked and you swipe a card even when you use cash because it's going to be a graduated sales tax. Besides nonprofit resellers like Goodwill along with garage sales, the language of the bill encompasses stores like the Pioneer Trading Post and flea markets. Lawyer Thad Ackle Jr. feels the passage of this bill begins a slippery slope for economic freedom in the state. 